Caesar, guys. It's me, Creep and Jay, and welcome to Breaking the Bank. Now, this is a Henry Stickman game, if you don't know. And if you do not know what Henry Stickman is, where have you been? And how long have you been off the grid? Yeah, I was starting off. Man, it's been years since I've played this. You know, it's been years since I've played this. So, yeah. So, um... Dig. Wow. Never dig straight down. You think? Explosives. Okay. Handle with care. Yeah, they're bombs. It's emergent technology. I'm sure it will get better. Laser. Open sesame. Yeah, at least it's, at least you're able to get inside almost. How do they not hear this? I could have sworn that landed on him. Did they change it? <laughs> I'm pretty sure this ceased to land on him. And I'm pretty sure this... You... I'm pretty sure you used to land in like a subway with this. Am I going crazy? Or has it always been like this? Cause I'm pretty sure this landed on him and he fell into a subway. Eh? Hey, how did we lose one? I think we just throw it in the back. Just to be safe. <laughs> you ever wonder why there's a bank out here? Well, I think it's supposed to be like more of a vault, you know? Oh, that makes sense. Freeze! Don't move! He used to say yay. Right? So, uh, I was going to end the video, but it was only like five minutes long. So, we'll do this one too. It has also been years since I've played this one. So, let's go. How are you? You're free to go. <laughs> Not really, but you've got a package. 
Don't get your hopes up. We've already checked it for anything useful, haven't we, Dave? What? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> of course I checked it. I mean, if I didn't check it, I'd lose my job, and I don't lose my job. <laughs> Hmm. All right, there. Um. File. The pick the lock, maybe. Ah. Oh, or the wind. Let's get out the window. <laughs> And not my greatest moment. Okay, cell door. I thought the window would be better, but okay. Hmm? You've got the reflexes of a statue. I hate you. Hint, you can defend yourself by tapping the alert. Hint, you can defend yourself by jumping into a hole. Hmm? Yes. K O. Hey, he's escaping. Is he? <laughs> Grenades. Yes. Yo, check yourself. What the? Me neither. Uh, I don't even know what to say about that one. Yeah, join the club. Do the boring one. Let's go left. Nay, shut up, janitor. You don't count. Now the next time I need. Fabby. Hey. <laughs> to the right then. Always go left. Turns out that's a lie. Hmm. Chip hack. <laughs> wow. Uh. Wait, what would that, what'd that say? Now look, you're back. <laughs> Takes hours of jetpack training before you're able to operate one. Me. Before, pause on that screen and read it to everybody. Wow, that was the lamest things I've ever seen. The animator must have must have gotten really lazy or something. I mean, honestly, that was probably the dumbest fail I've seen in this entire game. So anyway, what do you think about the game so far? Enjoying it? It's taken quite a while, and as I'm typing this, it is yet to be completed. I doubt you'll be able to read this far down unless you figure out a way to pause or do some other sneaky thing. LAME! You're lame. Okay. A rope. Ah. Ah. Uh. Hmm? <laughs> wow. <laughs> this seems awfully familiar. Mm hmm. Parachute? I think that was just a regular backpack. Let's see what happens when you assume. You can finally do the stupid plungers.
So yeah, we already know this part. Oh, are you? All right, let's try the energy drink. Never tried the whole thing. Side effects include nausea, headaches, rapid heart rate, and possibility of stroke and or heart attack. Well, that seems good to know. Okay, fine. We all, hmm. This doesn't work, we already know that, so... Ready? Fire! Oh, oh man. You can't just... You can... You just can't seem to get the hang of that thing, can you? Look at his face. He's like, ooh, oops. Okay, rocket launcher. Yes, yeah, so you can see that. <laughs> Ouch. Way to aim. Yeah. I wish it worked. Nine. One. One. It really, I already know what the phone does, so... <laughs> oh! Opacitator. Just do the blue slide to the right and you'll become opaque. That means you'll s you, that means see-through for all you uneducated folks. As you want. Only that. But the more opaque you get, the easier it'll be for you to pass through solid objects. Gabe Gadget 2009. Huh? Yeah, 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 yeah. You see, like, <clears throat> you'd, you'd think something like that would come up in the beta testing. Yeah. Really for a bar. Oh. Well, uh. Nee. uh. <laughs> Don't worry, I hear prison justice are great. Here we go down then. Oh, that actually works. I clicked. I clicked. Go spam. Aha, oh, yes, it worked. <laughs> I mean, that's one way to do it. So, 
Yeah, blah, blah, blah. Let's just get past this. Oh, you. Drill. We already know about those. There's no more thing I had to do. Well, uh... Yeah. Uh -huh. We're gonna try to go down this time. Uh oh. Okay, fine. So we know where that is. Lobby turn. Oh, okay. I thought it was a good idea to watch where you're going, especially if you're running low, especially if you're running from the cops. Hmm? Ah. Hmm? Ah. Oh, I have to click the arrow? Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you, there's another guard coming. Thanks for that. <laughs> Try dodging the bullets, noob. You're a noob. Okay, let's go to the cell phone route. Witness, please continue your testimony. Okay. I was riding alongside my partner in the armored van, but suddenly he spotted a bag on the side of the road. We got out and eventually decided to throw the bag in with the others. We didn't know there was someone hiding in there. OBJECTION! So, the defendant crawled into that bag in order to break into the bank. Is that correct? Is it not obvious? Is it really that obvious? I have proof that the defendant didn't hide himself in that bag. Well then. What are you waiting for? Present this evidence already. We'll do this first. Take that! What is this? It's evidence. And how exactly does this prove anything? <laughs> well, I... <laughs> I was just kidding. Let me try... This is no time for jokes. I see no reason to further prolong this trial. I find the defendant, Henry Stickman, I hate you. Me edit that stuff out. Okay, this disguising bag. The bag the defendant used to sneak into the into the bank. The knot is tied on the outside of the bag. Take that. Is is that the bag the defendant hid in? Yes, but there's one thing that's been bothering me. If the defendant really was hiding in this bag, then how did he tie the knot from the outside of the bag? If he was inside the bag, it'd be impossible for him to tie that knot on the outside. But then, how did he do it? It's simple. He didn't. <laughs> what are you saying? I'm saying my client wasn't hiding in that bag at all. He was stuffed in there. By this very witness! <laughs> As you can see by this doctor's analysis, the defendant had taken quite the beating. While he was in the bag, he was unconscious! Th this is absurd. The witness was attempting to dispose of the body. He left the defendant in the bag, knowing he'd drive by it on the way back to the bank. When the witness and his partner passed the bag, he convinced his partner to throw the bag in with the others. But, but why would he do that? Why, to dispose of the body, of course. There were millions of bags of money in that bank, and the witness knew it would take a long time before the victim was found. But unfortunately for the witness, his victim woke up and tried to escape from his tomb. He was arrested on the spot, and the witness thought everything was over. But it's come back to haunt him now, you guys can't, you can't, this, this, this can't be happening to me! Well, that certainly was an interesting trial. However, I am now ready to deliver my verdict. I find the defendant, Henry Stickman.
Yay! So that's it for this episode. In the next video, this is what we are playing. So yeah, thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video, and bye-bye.